Kung gusto mo magiging banal, makisama ka sa mga taong banal. Kung gusto mo magiging masaya, hindi makisama ka sa mga taong masaya. Kung gusto mo maging mayaman, makisama ka sa mga mayaman. Kung gusto mo maging mabait, makisalamuha, makisama ka, makiisa ka sa mga mababait. Kung gusto mong maging maganda, makisama ka sa mga maganda. Kung gusto mong maging sikat, ide, makisama ka sa mga sikat, makipagkulab ka sa mga sikat. If you wanted to be holy, be with holy people. Stay away from dirty surroundings. Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack Friends, brothers and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. Blessed and happy Tuesday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, my dear kababayans, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack. Today is June 21, 2022, and today is Tuesday within the 12th week in Ordinary Time. And our gospel for today is from the beautiful and wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 6 and verses 12 to 14. In today's gospel... Jesus told his disciples, Do not give what is holy to the dogs and do not throw your pearls before his wine. Why did Jesus contrast holiness and pearl? What can pearl teach us about Holiness. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, I think the message is like this. Holiness is like a pearl. It is a very precious jewel. Since it is precious, we are invited to keep it, to take care of it. We have to value anything that is holy because it is like keeping a precious pearl. And how to keep your holiness? Stay away from anything that is dirty, you know, because it will make us dirty. Do not throw your pearls into the pigs. Stay away from pigs because pigs love dirty surroundings, right? Pigs like dirty environments. In short, to keep our holiness pure and unblemished, stay away from anything that is dirty. And that is the best way to keep our holiness. In short, in order for us to be holy, stay away from anything that is dirty. So, I it to say, kung gusto mo magiging banal, makisama ka sa mga taong banal. Kung gusto mo magiging masaya, hindi makisama ka sa mga taong masaya. Kung gusto mo maging mayaman, makisama ka sa mga mayaman. Kung gusto mo maging mabait, makisalamuha, makisama ka, makiisa ka sa mga mababait. Kung gusto mo maging maganda, Makisama ka sa mga maganda. Kung gusto mong maging sikat, ide, makisama ka sa mga sikat. Makipagkulab ka sa mga sikat. Kung gusto mong maging mayaman, makisama ka sa mga mayaman. If you wanted to be holy, be with holy people. Stay away from dirty surroundings. Gaya nga ng kasabihan sa English, tell me who your friends are and I will tell you who you are. Second, we are also reminded today to treat others the way we wanted to be treated. Observe the golden rule, my dear friends, because I believe life is like an echo. You know, we, we get what we give. We harvest what we planted. Kung ano ang itinanim, siya rin ang iyong aanihin. Kung magtanim ka ng kabutihan, lalasap at aani ka ng kabutihan. Observe the golden rule. And finally, at the end of the gospel, it tells us 
to enter the narrow gate. This is not easy, you know, to enter the narrow gate. is hard. It's difficult. But it leads to life, says the Lord. Today, be careful of what kind of gate we choose. Because wrong gate leads to a wrong destination. Amen.